Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Ritter, and I'm not sure if this is recording or not, but anyway, here we go. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the elements design, and we've been using these all quarter. And uh, so they are color, line, shape, form, space, value, and texture. And we've been working with a lot of these. Uh, the only one we really haven't visited much is uh, space. And so we'll get to that in a second here. So anyway, color. Uh, color is a temperature and we have warm colors and cool colors so we've got the colors of rainbow here Roy G Biv uh, red orange and yellow are warm colors blue indigo violet are cool colors and then green is kind of on the fence here because it's made up of yellow and blue as you know and so if you have a little bit more yellow than blue then you create a warm green which would be yellow green and if you have a little bit more blue than yellow you create a blue green which is kind of a cool green so uh, color is a temperature and um, that's what you need to know about that next up is line uh, a line its definition is it's never closed meaning the start never meets the um, end of a line so um, anyway lines can come in various different widths and sizes and lengths they could be zigzagged or jagged or curved, um, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Also, uh, line can be used to direct the viewer to a focal point. And a focal point is like the main area or the area of interest the artist wants the viewer to go. So um, in this painting here, um, <clears throat> we go to his face. And we'll get more into that in a second here. Next up, we have shape. Um, shape is a closed line. So if the head meets the tail, the start meets the finish of a line, then it becomes a shape. A shape is flat. It's two-dimensional. Uh, a shape also has a width and height. Um, it also has area and perimeter. Um, the units for shape uh, is squared. So, um, and then uh, here's a question for you. What is flat in this painting? And we'll get more into that in a second here. Uh, I want you to think about what's flat as we go through this, or two-dimensional. All right, next up is form. Form is uh, three-dimensional or 3D. Um, form has volume and surface area. So essentially, you are a form. Uh, you are three-dimensional. Um, and then there's a question here, what is form in this painting here? So uh, we have shapes, and then we have form. And we'll get more into that in a second space here's the one that you haven't had so space is the area in and around